morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. Great to be here today. My name is Rick Tetau, and I serve as the chaplain for Springfield Masonic Community. Thank you for allowing me to serve in that capacity. Um, I have a short story to tell. In my first week as the chaplain, I went over to the sandwich shop, and I saw Patty, and she was sitting with her brother Mike, and Patty said, Chaplain Rick, sometime we need to have a hymn sing in the chapel. I said, well, I'll put it on the calendar, but um, do you know an organist? <laughs> and she said, yes. I said, well, does he know all the songs? Yes. Okay, last question. Does he like the Buckeyes? <laughs> yes. So we, we got all three yes, so today we have a hymn sing. I'll give some instructions on that later in the service, but I also want to welcome Kendra back. She's uh, my friend that I worked with at, in my previous position, so she will be uh, leading us in some of the singing too. She'll sing along with us. So welcome today. I hope you enjoy today. Today is going to be about music. Come into God's temple with praise and singing. That's what we're going to do today. So put on your thinking caps. So I'm going to ask you for some suggestions for hymns. Okay? At this time, let us prepare our hearts for worship. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Join me in our call to worship. Sing a song to the Lord, a new song. Sing to the Lord, all ye the earth. The Lord comes, the Lord comes, and all creation sings for joy. Sing to the Lord, bless God's name, proclaim God's salvation from day to day. The Lord comes, the Lord comes, and all creation sings for joy. Our morning hymn will be Leaning on Jesus, page 49, 49. <laughs> Leaning on the everlasting arm. Yeah. 
us into a time of prayer. Let us pray. God of heaven and earth, whom angels and saints delight to worship in heaven above, we pray for your servants who inspire music in us on earth here below. We thank you for Mike, Kendra, our choir, and all here today who offer praise to you through song. Continue to inspire us to sing and praise through the gifts you grant each one. May the beauty we create today in worship be pleasing to your ears, O Lord. May your song give you give may our song to you give you great delight. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And now let us pray together as Jesus first taught his disciples to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. I'm reading today Psalm 100, a psalm of thanksgiving. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name, for the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks, thanks be to God. God. Okay, so we're going to do a, have a hymn saying where he will start out with It Is Well With My Soul, and that is number 41. One of the purposes of a hymn sing is to tell the story of God's salvation. It's a story that starts with creation. So what I would like for us to do is tell God's story through song. After it is well with my soul, I'll ask you to select a hymn according to the story that we, we will um, tell. So the first part is creation. And then we'll talk about the nature of God. The next part is the coming of Christ at Christmas. So Advent, Christmas, and then the nature of Christ, and then we have the Lent and Easter stories, the nature of the Holy Spirit, and then Pentecost and the nature of the church. I'll prompt you as we get to each one. So for example, there's a song called In the Garden. That would be very fitting for creation. In the Garden, we think about Adam and Eve in the garden. We could also sing that one for Lent Easter, when Mary met Jesus in the garden. So think about that. What kind of song goes with the story of God's salvation? Okay, so since this was Patty's idea, we're going to sing the song she picked. We will sing the first and last verses. We're not going to sing every single verse. It's the first and the last. So if it's four verses, We'll sing first verse and fourth verse. Okay? So let's start with that one.
In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Would somebody like to pick a hymn that goes along with creation? Betty? 29. Number 29. And that song is... He touched me. Is that right? <clears throat> he touched me. Number 29. Two verses. Uh, I, I knew it was, but I was stumped. Okay. Just, okay. Uh, Kendra's going to help you, Mike. We're going to need the choir to help us out. This is going to be a collective effort. Yes. Shackled by a heavy burden, neath a load of guilt. Nature. Who has a song that describes the nature of God? Some of the qualities of God. What song speaks to that? Yes, we have somebody. Wait a minute. 26. 26. 26. This is Great is Thy Faithfulness. Beautiful song.
God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever shall believe in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Christ became one of us in Bethlehem of Judea. This is the reason we celebrate the Christmas season. Can somebody offer a suggestion for a Christmas song? Joy to the world. Joy to the world. Is that in the book or we just got Ninety-two. Ninety-two. Ninety-one. Ninety-one. Verses one and four. <laughs> fishers of men. During their time together, the disciples learned a lot about Jesus and his purpose on earth. Can somebody lift up a song that, um, Mike, you just had one, we'll have somebody else pick one. <laughs> somebody different, he's got one. That's Betty. Yes, good. 58. Nothing but the blood. Teacher, 
He said, do not touch me, for I'm going to your God and my God, your father and my father. That was the first Easter. Can somebody lift up a song of celebration for the Easter season? 103. We have. Oh, raise your hand. We have 103. We have. And Kay, I'll get you next, okay? 103. He lives. Right? Amen. 
the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit descended upon the disciples like tongues of fire. That was a great Pentecost song, but I'll take another song that speaks to the power of the Holy Spirit. I like number seven, God will take care of you. Number seven, God will take care of you. <laughs> Jesus promises the Holy Spirit is our comforter. Yeah. Verses one and four, number seven.
uh, prefer to take some from somebody who hasn't picked yet, and then Patty and Mike are going to sing a song for us to close us. Page 80. Page 80. This is Tell Me the Old, Old Story, verses 1 to 4.
participating today. It was beautiful. And we have one more song. <coughs> Mike and Patty are going to lead us in that song. That song is Let the Lower Light Burn It. Okay. She's coming up here with you. Right. That's good. You think there's a cocoa up now? Yeah, cocoa. And we dedicate this song to our beloved Ted Chapman. He loved this gym. He was such a wonderful man and a friend to all. I don't know how many of you remember him or know that he ever did this, but for years and years he drove children to the Shriners Hospital in Cincinnati. Oh!